Ondo State Government deports 42 Northerners to Kano and Jigawa State. The invention of the men who said they were in the state for security training created tension in the community following the alarm raised by the residents, calling the attention of the Omateko Corps to the development. The Ondo State Government has evacuated 42 suspected invaders who who were arrested recently by men of the Ondo State Security Network Omateku at Okiti Papa, the headquarters of Okiti Papa local government area of the state. The vention of the men who said they were in the state for security training created tension in the community following the alarm raised by the residents calling the attention of the Omateku Corps to the development. Speaking on the arrest of the invaders, the state commander of Amatiku in the state, Chief Adetuji Adeleyi, said the 42 men were arrested following their inability to explain their mission in the state. According to him, the suspected invaders who hid from Kano, Jigawa State, claimed that they were invited to the state by an agent who we engage them as a security guard to monitor the guide pipelines in the state. Hmm. Story. Adela, he said, in the last three days, there have been issues relating to the invention of the state by alleged Fulani men. Our intel shows us the influence of some people, especially to the Okitipopo local government area of the state. So, we monitored and we found out that the coverage in the front of the army barracks in Okitipapa. They were there for a couple of hours and at that point we tried to find out what their mission is. But because they could not give us satisfactory explanations, we moved them to our local office first in Okitipapa to try to debrief them and from the debriefing at Okitipapa, we had to move them to the state's headquarters for proper debriefing. When they arrived, we provide them and we find out that they were primarily from two major states, Kano and Jigawa states. The mission that they claimed they came for was not too clear and upon profiling we find out that the majority of them don't even know how they got to where they got to <laughs> all they were told was they were going for training training for who by who or whatsoever they do not know speaking in on the sponsor of the youth adela he said from the details investigations we were able to narrow it down to their sponsors the sponsors happened to also claim that they belong to an NGO, that they contracted out the training to a, a consultant who was supposed to train their men. They said they were going to train them as security guards. But as part of our discrete investigation, we find out that the so-called consultant had been arrested in Delta State and I confirmed from the Delta State Police Command as of today that he was still in their custody. So we intended to re relocate them. We will release all these ones and ensure that they are taken back to their states. He explained that they decided to release them because right now we looked at them as a security risk to the state. And at this point, we invited the sponsors the head of the NGO and the chairman of the board have also offered an explanation. But we feel that we should let the people of Ondo State know that there is no crisis in Okiti Papua local government area. The way it was portrayed as if some hoodlums or militants had taken over is not true. We want to reassure the good people of Ondo State that we are firmly on ground in conjunction with other security agencies and that there is no problem. People should go about their businesses normally. We are not leaving any stone untouched 
and we have have ensured that our intelligence unit had covered the entire state and we will alert the police on any wrong move. We intend to provide escorts to lead them out of Ondo State back to wherever they came from. Meanwhile, the state government has urged the people of the state not to take the law into their hands and should not uh, they should not waste any time to report any strange movement in their community. Speaking on the behalf of the state government, the Commissioner for Information and Orientation in the state, Donald Ojogo, commended the Omateku Corps for handling the situation maturely and professionally. Hmm. The next available truck is bringing them back. Wait and see. And the Ondo governor is one of the governors that are speaking against breakup of Nigeria. Foolishness in the highest order. You haven't got your own country and you want to deport someone. Hmm. Even Tano has deported people from other states. Bauchi is doing it and called deportation of prostitutes. Lagos did it under Fashola. Anambra did it too. This is why Nigeria needs true federalism. I hope those caught with arms and ammunition will be tried for robbery, kidnapping, and terrorism by Ondo state government in Ondo state. I don't know what is keeping River state government from doing the same. They should be sent back for a better enjoyment in their various states. These are Nigerians reacting to this incident. As you can see, some persons are not even happy that they deported them back. Some are saying that they should watch them carefully if they carry gun because these people, they, they are matter the fair person you can imagine some of them majority of them don't even know where they are going to they don't even know what they are going to do and all that they say maybe they just enter moto they just enter moto the worker so everybody just have to be security alert because anything can happen as this matter they go like this hi guys i'm dropping it here for now let's hear from you kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up thank you very much Bye for now.